Hey friends, it's Mr. Mark and we are working on our Bible skills and we're starting on this very first week at home and we're working on the Old Testament. Matter of fact, I've got all the Old Testament here and just like the New Testament, there are five divisions in each of the Old Testament and the New Testament. So in the Old Testament, the five divisions are law, history, poetry, major prophets, and minor prophets. So we're going to start with just learning the first division, and that is the books of law written by Moses. Let's say them together. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Let's try it again. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. We're going to be working on all of these books of the Bible, but we'll just do them a division at a time, and you can be practicing those so you can get it checked off on your list. We're going to be walking through the red cycle of Bible skills, drills, and thrills, and we're going to be learning those wonderful verses that follow along there. Let's just practice those five books of law, five books of law. Let me mix these up. And let's see what you can remember to do, and we'll see if we can stack them in order. Okay, so there we go. All right, how about that one? Here we go, and is it in order? No. So what's the first one? Is it Deuteronomy? No, Wh which one is Deuteronomy? It's the last one. Okay, let's put it down there. All right, what about numbers? Which one is numbers? Numbers, so that would be right here. All right, next is Leviticus. So which one is that? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. So it should be number three. Is it in order now? It is, isn't it? I had to look and see. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Very good. Are you saying Deuteronomy or Deuteronomy? Deuteronomy. Good. All right. So let's put them together. Say it one more time. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. All right, I'm going to take one out. Here we go. Now say it. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Good. Let's take another one out. Here we go. Genesis, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Good. All right. Now I'm going to take another one out <laughs> and see if you can do it. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. I don't know. Can you still see those? I'll put my hand over them. Now let's try it. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. I think you've got it. Well, you can be practicing those this week because we're going to move on to other things next week. We want to have these five down quickly. I want you to be able to find them in your Bible. So practice that at home. Get your Bible out and let your mom or your dad just say that they are going to call one of those and you be ready. So make sure all the paper and stuff is out of your Bible. And what you do is you stand with your hand on the spine, just like this. All right. And whenever they say attention, then they'll say present Bibles. You put your hand flat on top, flat on bottom, and they'll say Exodus. And then you can't go until they say start or go or something, you know. <laughs> so let's try that. Attention, present Bibles, Exodus, start. All right, are you going? All right, I've got it. Any page in the book. Put your finger on it 
And that's, that means you've got it. You have to find it before 10 seconds is up. And then you have to, if you, then you have to name the book before it, the book and the book after it. So Exodus, it would be Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Okay, let's try it again. Stand up, hand on the spine, by your side. Here we go. Attention, present Bibles, Leviticus, start, go. Oh, wow, that was easy. All right. Did you find it? Hurry. Okay, now name the book before it, the book, and the book after it. So it'd be Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Very good. So you've got it. I want you to practice that at home because you need to get faster and faster. If you do really great with these five books, it's an excellent place to start. Then you're going to be ready for our um, for our next set of books, because there's 12 of them in the books of history. Today, our Bible story is actually found in Genesis. Genesis actually means the beginning or beginnings. And so that would be fitting for it to be the first book of the Old Testament. So here's the Old Testament page. And then I turn the page and it says Genesis. Very good. Now, Genesis is where we're going to start because we're going to have a verse that's from Genesis 1, 27. And this is about God creating everything that there is. So I want to read to you a book by Cindy Wiley. And it says, uh, in the beginning, in the beginning, there was nothing, only God. God decided to make the world. And he did. God spoke, let there be light, and the light began to shine. God divided the light from the darkness, and he created day and night, and uh, this was the first day. God spoke again, let the sky be apart from the waters. It was so. This was the second day. On the third day, God said, let dry land appear. The Lord separated the water into seas, rivers, and lakes. And then God spoke for the plants to fill the land, trees, flowers, and every kind of plant with seed. And it began to grow. On the fourth day, God put lights in the sky. The sun was for the day and the moon and stars were for the night. God planned for the sun and the moon to help pass the time and seasons. God put the planets and other heavenly bodies in the sky. Really, God created a huge world galaxy. On the fifth day, God began to fill the earth with living creatures. The earth was ready for animals that lived in the water and sky. He placed fish and other swimming animals in the waters, and he made birds to fill the skies. On the sixth day, God spoke and created every kind of animal, wild animals. He even made cattle and all, and all things that crawl on the earth. Finally, God made people. God made man from dust, and then he breathed life into the man. Later, God made a woman to live with the man and help him. God put the man and the woman in a beautiful garden uh, to care for it. People were God's most precious creation. God looked at all that he had made and said it was very good. And then God rested. He declared that the seventh day was special, a day of rest. Those are the days of creation that you can read in Genesis 1 through chapter 2, verse 3. That's your first key passage, Genesis 1 through 2, 3. Isn't that remember? 1, 2, 3. So you can remember that God created God's creation 
uh, or I'm sorry, the creation, Genesis 1 through 2, 3. And that will be your key passage. And so if I were to have you stand and hold your Bible and say, attention, present Bibles, find the creation. You would quickly open your Bible to Genesis 1 through 2, 3. I'm going to have to find it more quickly than that. There it is, Genesis 1 through 2, 3. That's your first key passage, the creation. I've got some things uh, in your kit for you to pull out that will help with all the things we're learning today. Here's a coloring sheet, and you will color inside of each of the numbers the, the thing that God created for that day. So it, there's a little clue right there beside each one. And look at number seven. He's already laying down. He's asleep. Because on the seventh day, God rested. That's right. So these are the days of creation. Draw inside of each one the thing that God created that day. Then I'd like for you to see this because it will help you a lot. It's two pieces and you're going to make a creation wheel, the days of creation wheel. So you want to cut this one out and you want to cut this V as well and then cut out this circle and you might want to look at your big paper and see what you drew in each one of these numbers and draw them again in here. And then after you finish that, you attach it together with a little brad, it's in your kit. And you can turn these and you can see what you drew in each one in the days of creation. So give that a try. This is really pretty fun. There it is, birds and fish. Here's people and animals. And then on number seven, God rested. Very good. In the beginning, God created. So that's for learning your key passage and to be ready for that. Now, I want to show you a way to remember your verse. So I've given you six different copies of it. Just cut them apart, each one of them, down the middle, so you'll have six different tries to do this. But we want you to try to do this Bible verse it's all backwards. This is the Bible verse that we're learning because we are created in the image of God. I've got a mirror. We are created in, in the image of God. And so when you look at your Bible verse in the mirror, it shows the correct way. You can read it the right way because it's all backwards here. So let me give you a little clue how to do that. Hold it up to the window, and on the back, you can see, you can see through it the light, and it'll read the correct way. Use a Sharpie marker or a really heavy pen and write in there the answer to that. And when you do, you'll be able to see it this way. Pretty cool, right? Our Bible verse is, so God created man in his own image. He created him in the image of God. He created them male and female. Genesis 1, Now this is a little bit of a rhyme, maybe a little tricky, so let's try it one more time. So God created man in his own image, he created him in the image of God. He created them male and female, Genesis 1.27. So if you can get those three phrases, you've got it. One more time, Genesis 1.27. So God created man in his own image. He created him in the image of God. He created them, male and female. Genesis 1, 27. Try it out on this and see if you can do it. 
I think you're gonna like doing the mirror. Now, you might wanna stand in front of the mirror to actually do this if you don't have a handheld mirror, and that would be absolutely great. Give it a try this week, and join me next week as we do our, our week two of Bible Drill at Home. I think we're gonna have a great time doing our Bible Drill this way. I'll see you next week.